Hello everyone and welcome to um, Max's Gym Challenge episode 9. I think it is, I was meant to check but I forgot to check so let's go with episode 9. It seems fitting, I believe episode 7 was the psychic types and episode 8 was earlier so this is episode 9, I hope so. Either way, this is Max's rematch against the ghost types, let's get into this. So it was the same matchup as last time where I lead off with Frostlass and um, he leads off with Golem. Of course I go with Ice Fang to hope to flinch, but unfortunately I didn't. So he goes with Stealth Rock. And I go with Ice Fang again, not slapping the Golem. Uh, well, he goes with Rock Slide, which does quite a fair amount of my health. Pretty much all of it, apart from one, because Focus Slash. I'd go with Ice Shards just to avoid being outsped for some reason, which wouldn't happen anyway, but still though, best to be safe and sorry. He then goes out with Aegis Slash, and um, honestly, I would have done the same thing if he was in my position. Just go with Shadow Sneak just to finish it off and not even worry about Destiny Bond. So, um, great play on his part. Kind of upset I couldn't get the Destiny Bond up, but it's not all about the Destiny Bond. It's not about how you start the battle, it's how you finish it. And if you finish it with no Pokemon on your side, then you failed the battle, simple as. So, um, uh, I go with, um, he goes with King Shield, so, um, Trying to scout out to see what I will do. And I go with Sword Stomps. And then my leftovers, I heal up from that Stealth Rock damage. Uh, Max got intimidated and just left and gone with Blaziken next. Was I actually wanted to go with another sword starts because I wouldn't be able to one shot an Aegis Slash in defense form. So uh, yeah, again, I knew I was going to get a Fire and Z coming my way so I just uh, gone with Shadow Sneak just to finish off the Blaziken as has rather low defense. And to my surprise, it worked! Huzzah! Yay! Next class is Greninja. Um, oh dear. Um, I change. I go to defense form. Go with King Shield, just so I can scout out she see what it does. Probably going to go with Night Slash, which would be great because it lowers its attack, which is great. And unfortunately for Max, he did not remember that King Shield actually lowers your attack if you use a physical move, and he paid the price for that. He gone with Night Slash again, just to do some damage, a fair amount. I change my stance again to go with super effective move I like to call Sacred Sword. And it KO'd the Greninja. Next victim, I mean next Pokemon to come out on Max's side is a Gardevoir, which um, tries to trace my ability but because it won't really work. Uh, Trace didn't actually work for Max, which we kind of found amusing, and we didn't even know that that could happen. But now we do know, and it was kind of funny. I go Shadow Sneak, and um, yeah, the Mega game is up. I'm hoping the people which are actually competing in this gym challenge are actually watching this so they know what to prepare for. Um, unfortunately, Max doesn't get that privilege, so. <laughs> Not anymore now anyway. He goes to stance, cha stance change um, to try and go with Shadow Sneak because his actually outspeeds mine and he actually KOs me. I thought he was going to go with a um, King Shield but unfortunately no. So Decidueye's out next. Um, he got intimidated so he went straight for the uh, um, King Shield, 
Which, in all fairness, he should have been intimidated. Because I went with my Z move. Man, does your eyes, eyes look great. Okay, so that's since the arrow raid I'm using. As Wall on C, probably one of my favourite Z moves. I don't know if it's, if it's my favourite overall, but it's definitely one of my favourites. But other than that, great credit going towards uh, Max there for predicting that Z-move. But honestly, he would have gone with Sacred uh, King Shield anyway. He um, got intimidated from the Sidgewai, didn't want to get hit, and goes to Shadow Sneak, hope, going all for broke here, hoping to KO. Unfortunately, doesn't KO. Spirit Shackle, um, being super effective, obviously would KO. Because in that stance, each Sasha's defense is just as worse as Alakazam, so yeah. You need to be careful when using uh, a um, each slash. Next is Luxray, got Intimidate on. Um, oh no. Uh, he goes to Night Slash, which outspeeds my Decidui and KOs the Decidui. And if you're counting right, I'm down to three Pokemon, whilst um, Max is down to only one. I go with my Marowak now, hoping it can actually do something. Uh, he goes to Night Slash. Does a, does a fair amount. I go with Bone and Meringue. Unfortunately, had the Shucker Berry. But it does a fair amount the first time, and as it hits the second time, does a lot, and leaves him on a sliver. From what I hear from Max, that is around 2, maybe 5 HP. I can't remember. It's very low. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, the Marowak goes down, unfortunately. So, yes, again. Not great. I go with my Mimikyu next. Um, Max absolutely hates this Pokemon for some reason. I go with Wood Hammer for no reason apart from Vanity. And just KO the Luxray right then and there. Um, so yes, again, I've beaten Max with the Ghost Types. Um, net in battle number ten, I believe it is. I'm actually going to check this time. Um, will Max be going against the Ghost Types again? Will he win? We can only find out. Till then, peace out.